And for the ATC, thank you, stable staff handicap over 1,300 metres with a few late scratchings. And now the favourite sequestered goes in, and Serati will be the last. Serati is the last to move in there in the triple crown jacket being led forward. So Ningaloo Star, a surprise favourite in the last from sequestered, has been right out the gate in the market. Red light blinking. Racing down the last and sequestered in the second half of the field, but it's a bunch field out of the gates. Ningaloo Star was nicely into stride together with Surati. The replicant positions up well, and the replicant goes into third, followed by a cadet ship. Then Sessions Road on the inside of So Am I. The favourite sequestered third last, pulling on the inside of Arts and Two Lengths to Lady of Luxury. Ningaloo Star weathering the storm as Surati is firing up on the outside. Ningaloo Star on the inside of Surati, and the replicant planted three wide at the 800. Sesson trade fourth the rails from Cadetship. Then so am I. The white face sequestered three quarters to Arts and two after Lady of Luxury. Approaching the corner and it's Ningaloo Star and narrow leader from Serati and the replicant in a three wide position. Then Sessions Road Cadetship. So am I off the bridle. Now sequestered awkwardly places they turn. Arts pulling out. Lady of Luxury pulling out as well. So Ningaloo Star comes to the middle from Serati. Sessions Road Cadetship. Then the replicant Sequestered still five lengths away off the lead. It's Ningaloo Star just in front. Sessions Road up the inside. Cadet Ship wide out. It's Cadet Ship coming down Rawilla Road on the outside fence joining Sessions Road. Sequester getting a late split. It's trying to pick it up. It's Cadet Ship. Sessions Road sequestered. Cadet Ship just in front and Cadet Ship wanted a long neck to Sessions Road. Sequestered third. A gap back to the replicant. Then came Arts followed by Lady of Luxury, Serati, Ningaloo Star and so am I. Cadet Ship. On what's been a pretty decent day for bookmakers, an $8 winner in the last, Tommy Berry. Cadet Ship, $8 a win, two ten a place, coming the widest. Sessions Road going up the inside at good odds, paying three fifty a slot. And sequestered. Just took a while to really wind up there. Going into third, the drifting favourite, 170. And a big gap back to the replicant who finished in fourth. But Cadet Ship for Star Thoroughbreds, trained by Chris Waller, Tommy Berry, winning the last of the day with the addition of the Norton bit. He was first up from the spell today and came the widest of the chances inside the last 150 metres. So Cadet Ship was a bit of a late shorten up as well in the market, 12 into 9, $8 a win, 2.10 the place, so quite short on the totes. Time there is 121.37, the last 600 metres covered in 36.80. Numbers on the board now, 12, 13, 10 and 14. 12, 13, 10, 14 on the last uh, here at Ramwick. So that wraps up the coverage today. James McDonald with a riding treble and Tommy Berry with his lone success for the day in the last. That wraps it up here. Um, Luke Marlow, I'll be with you at Warwick Farm Wednesday. I'll be with you at Rose Hill next Saturday. Thanks, Mercedes. Winning margin a half length. Half length the margin.